On September 8, 2020, Android 11 was officially released and seven days later we did our first impression video showing all the new features and the difference between Android 10 and 11. Now, I stayed on Android 11 for two weeks and then because of some drawbacks which I did a video about, especially for some of my core apps were optimized for Android 11, I moved down to Android 10. And six months later, well, Android 11 is just really, really not picking up the paces the way it is. But maybe all that is about to change uh, because we're going to show you practically how to move from Android 10 to Android 11 for custom ROMs without any hitches. So if you're ready, let's go. Okay, welcome back again to Smart Depot. And before you start doing anything on your phone, I will not stop to emphasize the need to do backup. Take all kinds of backup. If you see this one, I'm copying file to the SD card. I've copied some to the system. I'm making backup with my great um, application that backs up even app data. And I'm also backing up to Google Cloud. So make sure you take all kinds of backup and keep it somewhere safe. So let's go in now. We're going to go to the recovery. Uh, I have advanced reboot. I'm going to pick up the recovery. I will go into TWRD recovery. So when you are in TWR recovery, you're going to go to wipe and select advanced wipe. Now, make sure you do not select or wipe your vendor if you're using Remy X2 because uh, the custom ROMs do not come with custom vendors right now. So you select system, cache and um, data and then you wipe them out. Do not wipe your vendor partition. So once we've done that right now, we're going to go back to install and we're going to go to the folder, select the ROM and flash. Uh, the Nezuko ROM already have gaps inside it, so you don't need to flash gaps because it's in the ROM. That would have been the normal thing to do after flashing the ROM. You flash gaps, but we're going to skip gaps now. And right now, I'm going to deal with a big challenge that people face. So after flashing a ROM, you have to go back to wipe and format data. Now, mind you, formatting data will wipe everything in your phone so it will ask you are you sure you have to be sure what you're doing because there's no coming back from this one yeah so you would type in yes and then format data now this is flash the rom wipe flash the rom format data and then once you click the yes it will wipe everything in the internal memory of your phone so once it's done right now, you're going to reboot. And this is a problem that many people face. Now, as you see right now, it's showing you that no OS is installed. So most people get scared and stop. But I know I installed the OS properly. So I'm going to go on to reboot the system because I know I installed the OS. Uh, so as you can see, it, the Nezuko ROM is coming up. Now, many people don't know about this ROM. This ROM is one of the... This is my first time of hearing the name and I was interested because I saw the screenshots and I was like, okay, I'm going to try this one. So, so let's check out this Nezuko ROM Android 11. So that is simple. You do your backup, you wipe, um, you install, you format data and you reboot. It's that simple. So once you reboot, you're going to do a lot of things. This ROM have a lot of goodies of Pixel and Android. It's, it's a Android open source based ROM. And then everything is just moving sweetly on this one. So you can set up your lock screen if you want, but I can't wait to see what this ROM is like. And if you've watched till this point, uh, a sub to the channel will be very, very important and very, very pleasing and nice to us. So click on that subscribe button, please. And turn on the notification bell icon if you like this video. So in this one now, I'm going to show you some things about this ROM and I'm going to show you some benchmark uh, gameplay at the end. Let me know if you want me to review this Nezuko ROM. This ROM is beautiful. It's smooth. Uh, let me know if you want me to review it in the comment section and then tell me the things you want me to test, to try to review in this ROM. So I want this one to be driven by you, the viewer. Let me know what you want me to talk about, what you want me to review in this ROM because this ROM is lit. And then the good thing is that this ROM is also a Google device certified from the installation, from the stock installation. So I'm going to go to Google Play Store now and I'm going to go to setting and go down to device certified. And that means you can install Google Pay, any other application and they will work. So I also tell you that this ROM can be rooted easily without stress and retains Google certification with Magix version 22. 
the battery life is good and then this is the first use and all the downloads the answer to benchmark wow <laughs> it is beautiful i also did a little on jig bench uh, jig bench didn't do badly but the most interesting thing is the gameplay of this it is so smooth beyond my expectation and i'm gonna leave you with that so let me hear from you in the comment section and i'll see you in the next one Subscribe. I'll see you.